I'm here with Dick Baboom uh, from Educans um, at the Connect for Change in Spotlight Day here in Amsterdam. Uh, it's really nice to meet you today, Dick. And um, I wondered what are the, the insights you think you draw from our conversations today that are going to be relevant to others who are building development programs um, and you know, of the kind that that we have been involved with here. Mm -hmm. Well, the, 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 of course, ICT is a cross-cutting issue, and we are using especially Aquaflow for our data collection and for our uh, transparency purposes. But um, but the Connect for Change, like it started, it was more like a, like an institutional approach. And I would like next time to begin more from the very beginning of, of ideas and, and, and then look where you end up. Even the partnerships may not be clear in the beginning, as long as you develop good ideas that are relevant for, for the people you're working for. Yeah, because you're, you're saying so in terms of rather than applying IT systems onto a diverse range of people, you're saying that you should be encouraging them to be developing different tools, is that what you mean? Or am I missing it? In terms of ICT, yeah, people, yeah, ICT should be relevant for people in the first place. So many people nowadays used to uh, are used to to to, uh, to use a mobile phone, and they connect to the outside world. They send messages. Farmers know uh, the market prices, and even in education, you can see that that children they pick up uh, skills so easily that they can easily uh, yeah, be better than their own teacher in I mean, a very short time. Yeah, while. IT skills development in schools in the parts of the world that you're working in is, is a really interesting area. I mean, I'm, I'm a child of 1971, so when I was 11 years old, I got a BBC computer, or 12, mm -hmm. in the UK. Mm -hmm. And it changed my life, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. that computer yeah. at the time. Yeah. And, and this, this sort of wave is going to hit a huge number of kids around the world, um, in the poorer parts of the world, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sure, and, and, and it opens their eyes to a different reality. It makes them creative in thinking in, in other solutions. But what, what is also important in education is that, um, that uh, ICT is used as a means and not as an end in itself. In the end, you will surely need a good teacher. If you don't have a good teacher, then ICT is not uh, not very useful. Yeah. Are there any other programmatic insights in terms of if you're putting together programs of this kind in future, or, or you're talking to others that are? I mean, what, what, what would you what would you say is the most important thing they should be thinking about? In terms of programs. In terms of designing programs. In terms of designing programs. Yeah, it's, it's very important to take time to develop uh, good uh, and relevant ideas. So, um, and maybe you should, should start a bit smaller without having the pressure to spend a lot, a huge amount of money. I would like to start small with good ideas, then, then build on it, learn from it, enlarge it, and then from there move to, to some excitement of, of what's working and what's not, not working. And then getting to yeah some brighter uh, future. Yeah, yeah. I like the, the good small ideas rather than big ideas that turn bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I see in my in, in when I'm doing some consultancy work, I, I did some consultancy on the ICT and education policy of the Suriname Suriname government. Yeah. And then you you have to look at at, at everything what's already happening, and then you see that there are pockets of of innovators and they just develop their own ideas and they they put up an ICT center and they they involve some companies and they train some people of the companies and they got some money from that uh, and in other parts they 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 there were some some innovators taking the, some schools to a different level yeah involving the parents and the parents were very, very enthusiastic and, and they were cooperating and contributing. So for me, the most fascinating thing is to see what is happening on the ground and how you can learn from that and how can you replicate it in some other situation. Well, it was really good to meet you today, Dick. Thanks a lot. No.